Throughout history, every culture and age has told stories of hauntings, visitations from beyond the grave. Whatever your beliefs, what cannot be denied is that the living are outnumbered by the dead. The tales you're about to witness are created from first-hand accounts. They portray the experiences of people who had no more reason to believe in ghosts than you. Is it possible that beyond our understanding there exists a darker world? The early hours of a summer night, 1999. Deep in the Sussex countryside stands Michelham Priory. Once the dwelling place of an order of monks on a site that is over 700 years old. events led this man to feeling under siege in his own home. Only two weeks earlier, Chris Tuckett had first taken residence at Mitchellum Priory in his new role as property manager. For me, it was a, it was a big break. Um, I've been on building sites for some years before I came here. Um, it was an opportunity for me to, to get a career, a sustainable career, uh, and I was really excited at the prospect of working in such a place as this. You're pretty much in awe of, of your surroundings. You literally walk through the gatehouse and you see it, and it, the majestic side of it is just fantastic. The views, the gardens. It just looked like an idealistic place to be, really. Yet, as early as his first night in the building, Chris began to think that perhaps all was not as it seemed. As the only resident in the Priory, he had to set a complex system of security alarms as he locked up for the night. I thought I'd, I'd lock someone in. If a door opens, I, I, I know. Um, if anyone comes in the house, once that alarm's been set, then I, I, I know anyone coming in. time Chris thought he had found the source of the woman crying, he felt the sound came from elsewhere. But after checking every room and alarm, he realized that the house was empty. Although unsettled by the harrowing episode, for Chris, it was merely the beginning of his experiences at the Priory.
quickly as it came, it went. And it's not like it just stopped. It physically, you could hear it coming. It came into the room and it was gone again. Chris was not the only person to believe that there were strange happenings at Michelin. His predecessor also felt he had been targeted by unseen forces. Outside, it was a, it was a beautiful evening. And then all of a sudden we had this terrific roar. You know, like a, a train or a plane. And it just got louder and louder and I went to the window to look out, you know, what is it? And next to me, it just only swooped, came up through the house, through the flat. Wow! Something had gone through the house and it was gone. The house has always been in command. We've got hundreds of years of history, of day-to-day -day living in this place, like we've got today. Nobody can tell me that there's not a presence at Mitchell and Priory, because there is. Fred came to believe that whatever resides in the Priory could strike out at anyone trying to settle there. It's their way of saying, we're here. And if things happen in their house, they react by, they don't like it. When I first moved in, the flat was unfurnished. Chris decided to turn an empty 